Hey, it's Shelby of Stang Books, and this is part two of my intro. This will be my rating system. I'm a really, really broad rater. Um, what I mean by that is I tend to give really nice ratings. I am not a, like, hard rater. I'm not somebody... I think I've given, like, one, maybe two one-star reviews in the entire time that I've been reviewing books. In large part because I do feel like every author has put a lot of work into their books, and... It may not be my cup of tea, but that doesn't mean that it's not somebody else's. So if you're looking at my star ratings, and the one biggest thing I hate about Goodreads is that they don't do a half star rating. So I do. I usually will just put it as part of my review if I give a half star to a book, since I can't do it as the actual stars on Goodreads. But hey, on here, I will have my individual half stars. So because I tend to rate based on the book itself in comparison to other books in that genre, I'll give a five-star rating to an erotica book that would not stand up against The Boys in the Boat, which is one of my favorite all-time books, and it's nonfiction, and it's brilliant. And the writing quality between the two, not anywhere near each other. What does that mean? Five-star books for me are books that I loved. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean, like, it's the greatest book ever. There are a lot of books that I've rated five stars that are probably not even the great, like that great of writing or anything, but for whatever reason, I loved the book. It could be that it was a part of a series that I love, and it's a decent book, in, like a good book in that series. It could be because the book itself is like absolutely fantastic and brilliant and wonderful and absolutely everybody should read. It's kind of how I felt about the book within its own genre. So I'll have books that I rated five stars that I maybe wouldn't recommend to a lot of other people because they fall into a genre that not everybody reads, like, say, erotica. That genre has a simpler style of writing. It's not as in-depth. It's not as um, all-encompassing as, say, reading something that's like high fantasy or nonfiction, where there's a lot more detail and really rich writing and emotion. I'm not going to rate them against each other. It's going to be how I enjoyed that book as part of the genre that it was written in. So I'll have five-star eroticas. Same thing with, like, very simplistic romance novels that are just about boy meets girl. They fall in love and they run off together and have their time. I like those a lot less than I like something that's more of a thriller or um, a paranormal. Something that's got more story to it. But that doesn't mean that I don't have those cozy romances and whatnot rated at five stars because they're rated against each other. So like I said, five-star read, it's something that I loved that was really great for me in that genre or is just a fantastic book overall. Some of those I would never read again because they were a brilliant book, but they were so emotionally draining or deep or whatever that I'm going, oh God, never again. I can't go there. I will die. There's still a five-star read. It's kind of the way I feel about like watching Monster. It's a brilliant movie. And I was like, oh my god, this is so intense, but it was so worth seeing. I never, ever, ever need to see it again. It's a five-star movie. I will never watch it again. What does that mean? Four stars. Four stars are my, I love the book. It was a great book. I really enjoyed my read. There's just something that kept it from being uber fantastic. Like, it was good. It was great. I enjoyed it. Three-star reads are books that I enjoyed. They were good. There's nothing really wrong with them, but they weren't anything that I'm super excited about telling other people about. I liked it. I enjoyed my read. I got through it and wasn't left disappointed. Or it was a book that I enjoyed. There were parts of it that I really enjoyed, but there was there were threads dangling or other little pieces that I was kind of like, yes, slid a little bit right there. Two star reads are books that I didn't really like. It could be a personal preference thing, it could be some of the writing quality wasn't as good, or there were a lot of dangling threads. I hate dangling threads, like, tie up your threads, people. Unless it's just an ongoing series where those threads are going to get throughout the series, tie them up, please. I am way too much of a filmmaker and I know continuity, oh god, continuity drives me nuts in a book where... I'm in one situation and then all of a sudden I'm in someplace else and there's no way you got there. Drives me batty. So anyway, two stars. I really didn't enjoy the book, but it, there was nothing like, I can't say that I hated it. One star reads, and like I said, I've only had 
one, maybe two of them, and usually I rate them like one and a half because I do feel like the authors have put a lot of work into it, um, are books that I absolutely hated and would never, ever, ever read again. Most two-star reads, I wouldn't ever check out the author again either, but one-stars are absolutely, I'm like, nope, done, thanks, <laughs> no good. This is just not for me for varying reasons. So what does that mean with my half stars? So on Goodreads, because it won't let you do a half star rating, I tend to round up or down based on kind of a general feeling about the book. If it's a three and a half star read that I felt a little bit better about, it'll get rounded up. If it's a three and a half star read but I was a little less like excited about it, it gets rounded down. And it's totally in the moment how I felt about the book when I'm finishing. So anyway, that's a little bit about how I rate books. Um, you can always check out my ratings on Goodreads. I try to at least rate every book that I read. Um, that is not including my backlog because 90% of the books that are on my bookshelves are not on my Goodreads because I bought them before I started the Goodreads. Um, and I want to reread them as I go and read them. And then they will go on Goodreads. Um, so anyway, I tend to try and rate everything I read since I've joined, but I'm not always reviewing everything I read on there. If I'm too busy or it gets crazy, then I'll just skip a book here and there, but I do try to do both. So check out my ratings. Hopefully it makes a little bit of sense and wasn't too rambly, and um, we'll do my flame ratings.